Hey teens want to know, this is your co-creator Willie Pena and I am here today with Lizzie Green <laughs> from Nikki, Ricky, Dicky, and Dawn. I said that right. Yeah, you did. First yeah. time I've ever seen. Congratulations. <laughs> so I have some questions here for you. All right. And then we're going to get into a challenge. Okay. Very cool, exciting, yeah. yes. All right. All right, let's start off with what everyone is talking about, which is your recent post thanking the cast and crew of Nikki, Ricky, Dicky, and Dawn for four great years. Your fellow castmates like Kyla Drew Simmons, who we are also going to be interviewing this week, also posted their own emotional thank yous. And with Mace Cardell having left the show to film a movie, it has led to a lot of speculation, excuse my voice, that it's a wrap for the show. Can you enlighten us? Well, um, we just officially wrapped season four, so whether or not we get a season five, that is not confirmed yet. But all the emotional goodbyes on Instagram, that's like just in case it does end. But if it does come back, that would be amazing. We can go back get to hang out with the crew and everyone again. So. That'll be emotional. Hello again. Yeah, and emotional, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, what was the mood on the last day of shooting uh, season four? Well, I have to say it was both happy and sad because, of course, we were sad because it could possibly be our last day on the set, last day working with these people. But it was also happy because we've come such a long way. We've come from being a pilot to going four seasons in like five years, which is amazing. So yeah. it's really cool to have been in such a great environment with all these amazing people but i'd say for sure we were all very grateful but sad we talked about um mace um are you guys still cool with mace and his decision are you guys and friends and or is there a little bit of like eh, why'd you leave dude <laughs> he is a mean machine i ha he blocked me on instagram <laughs> Woo! i mean we're in the same room for nine and a half hours a day five days a week for four years, so I mean, it's you gotta expect it's not gonna be all rainbows and unicorns the entire time. So it is a business, and you come here for a job, and like you kind of have to check the feelings at the door. So it's just part of the part of the game, I guess. Yeah. All right, cool. But you do wish him well. Yeah. Of course. So <laughs> what will you miss most about your NRDD experience? <clears throat> well, I feel like. Sorry. That's my watch. <laughs> well, we're, we're a professional show. Yeah, here. very, very much so. <laughs> but I'll definitely, I'll miss the parents a lot. Brian and Allison, they were amazing. They've helped me so much as an actor and as a person throughout the years. So I'll definitely miss them waking up and getting to work with them. And just being able to work is like, it's the best job in the world. So I'm yeah, always yeah. very happy that I got to do it. A lot of work, but nine and a half hours on Saturday. Day. That's yeah. That's take a toll yeah. after a while. We work like, a, like adults. Yeah. <laughs> Let's move on from NRDD and talk about, you're a huge animal lover and an ASPA supporter, right? I love <laughs> animals so much. They're like the most pure, wonderful things in the world. What animals do you have? I have, I have two cats and one dog, and my two cats are crazy. Um, As most tend to be, actually. Yes, uh, and my dog, he doesn't really like me that much. <laughs> but I like okay. him. I don't think the feelings are mutual there, but you know, I, I love, I like you, Jet. I'm, if you're watching this, just don't growl at me when I'm trying to pet you, please. Nice. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, if there's any character in any show or film you would most like to have played, what what character would that be? <clears throat> Ooh. I would love to be like a female James Bond. Mm. I feel like that would be so cool. Like Atomic Blonde, that seems mm. like awesome. Just to be like some like super like kick butt hero or yeah, something I like that. Totally That'd be really fun. I totally yeah. see you in that. Doing yeah. all these stunts and stuff. <laughs> Shooting out ninja stars and yeah. swords and yeah. <laughs> explosions. Yeah. All right. All right. It's, uh, speaking of um, show business and characters and whatnot, if there's one thing, just one thing you could change about show business, what would it be? The jealousy. Mm. There's just, there's so much jealousy that comes with signing a contract or anything like that because no matter what, it's always going to be there. And I wish that everyone could just be like thankful for what they have and not be jealous of what other people have, especially like with roles and all that yeah. stuff. And that jealousy then turns to anger, which then turns to being mean. And I just feel, I just think everyone should just take a chill pill, honestly. Right. And stuff. Just, just like, just enjoy where you are. Like, enjoy life. And be grateful for what you got. Exactly, yeah. Totally, I went to you there. Okay, a couple of rapid fire questions. Nice. Favorite YouTuber? Uh, <laughs> um, 
I like watching How to Cake It. It's this show where it's, you like she makes all these crazy cakes, but they're like <laughs> brain and strawberry and uh, all that stuff. Like she she's amazing with fondant and all that stuff. How I to watch, Cake It. Yeah. Okay. How to Cake Shout It. Shout out to How really to Cake It. Cool. Yeah. Favorite band or musician? Um, I love Beyonce and Rihanna. Okay. <laughs> like everyone does. Yeah. On the R and B tip. Favorite TV show? Um, SNL or. The Simpsons or Riverdale. Riverdale, that's uh, it. Sorry, it took me a minute. <laughs> What's the dumbest interview question you've ever been asked? Uh, ooh, that's interesting. Probably, like... Don't say this one. No, I'm <laughs> <laughs> I've never been asked this one, so this is the first. I'm trying to think. Let me think for a second. Sure. Like, I hate when, like, people ask, they're like... What's your favorite dance move? Because me dancing on cue, I don't. It's I do not enjoy it. I don't enjoy it at all. They're like, do your favorite dance move. Go. I'm like, <laughs> what? <laughs> I wouldn't say it's really dumb. I just say it's more of an uncomfortable question. The pressure I, of like busting yeah, out something on camera, and then the camera like zooms out, and it's a full body. Like, okay, here you go. And I'm like, uh, start break dancing. <laughs> yeah. Got it, Let's go. Yeah. <clears throat> so, what's your advice for surviving social media? I feel like don't use your platform to tear other people down. I mean, there's I've had a lot of experiences with people I don't know, like cyberbullying that hide behind a screen, yeah. and people yeah. that I do know and I've worked with that have decided that they're just going to turn and use their position to tear other people down. And I feel like don't just don't do that. You're only it's just don't air your social sorry. Don't air your dirty laundry on social media. I mean, like, if you have a problem going on with someone, don't put it all over the internet for other people to see, like, an audience. Like, just deal with that person yourself and not have to involve other people that shouldn't be involved in it. I just feel like, I feel like that everyone should just, like I said, just, just relax. Just don't start drama. Don't, like, don't bully other people. Just be a nice, kind person and use your platform to do good things in life, not to do bad things and make other people feel bad. Sorry for preaching, but... No, that's good advice. It's a touchy subject. We, we, I, I get it. And we, and we need to talk about it because... Here's one thing I've noticed is that sometimes when there's beef and people bring it up, nobody had any idea about the beef until somebody brought it up. It's like, oh, you guys are tearing me apart and blah, blah. I'm like... What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, like I said, involving people that don't need to be involved. Like, like when like someone, the general public. <laughs> exactly, or like, <laughs> like involving fans and stuff like that, and then people start taking sides when they don't really know the full story. And yeah. I just feel like it's a whole, it's a, it's a mess. Just, just don't air your dirty laundry on social media. Just relax. Like so I you, said. the way you handle it is by not airing it. Yeah, I you honestly <laughs> I just try to ignore it to the best of my ability. But when like there's a direct hit or something, I'll definitely I'll respond because I don't want to let someone walk all over me. Mm -hmm. But I think yeah, if it's not necessary, just take a break, put your phone down, don't involve yourself, and just like I said, just relax. Tell me something people will be surprised to know about you that they don't already know. Oh, yeah. I'm trying to learn Spanish right now. I'm taking it's my second year of taking it. And it's very hard, but it's fun. I enjoy it. I just finished the first semester a couple of days ago. So Cool. Congratulations. Bust something out. Uh, this is like a dance question. Bust something out. Hola, mi nombre es Lissy. Muy bien. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> so if you go back in time when you were a little girl and first started your journey as a celebrity and give yourself one piece of advice, just one, what would it be? Uh, this is going to sound super like... Oh, snap. But I just say, don't be so quick to trust people. That's that's something because there's a lot of people in this business that are out for it only for bad things, that only want to, like, be your friend for, like, attention and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. But I just feel like just be very careful who you invest yourself in and trust. I, like I said, it's going to sound, like, really like, oh, snap, girl. Woo-hoo. Let me, let me know. But I'm just... <laughs> Yeah, I would just say be really careful who you, like, become friends with and all that stuff because you never Absolutely. know if they'll <clears throat> turn around and burn you. <laughs> Ouch. This whole interview, I'm, like, dropping. I'm, like, spilling tea dang, right now. I'm dang, like, G. I'm, I'm dropping Teen. hints. <laughs> <laughs> Teens really want to know, so. I know, I know. You get into these questions. <laughs> The good thing I gotta say is that your mom is sitting right there. Yes. So you got a guardian, you got somebody to take care of yes. you. Yes. And I've seen already at your age 
way too many unsupervised kids, especially the girls. And I'm oh. like, oh my gosh, she's to the I oh my so. gosh. Mm. I'm like, where is your mom, dude? <laughs> That's what I'm thinking all these days. Like, I'll just be scrolling through Instagram. I'll be like. Where is her mother? What is going on? It's the same with like, where is his mother? Like, yeah. it makes no sense because they're just like, okay. Oh, another thing people don't know about me. This is actually what I'm going to say. My mother has to see every picture before I post it. I have never posted a picture on Instagram without getting my mother's approval. So you will never see me like going crazy because I'm 14 years old, I'm past the age, but my mother still likes to supervise and kind of run my Instagram. I'm very bothered by it, but I think I think at the end of the day she's doing it for the well-being, but still like sometimes I want to post a selfie, but she doesn't want me to post a selfie and I'm like so. That's for your own good. I'm a, I'm a father. If you can't tell, I'm not a teenager. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, you know, that that's actually brownie points to mom. Absolutely. All right. So what do you have coming up next? Me. I have a movie coming out in November to December-ish. It's called Tiny Christmas. I did it with my friend Riel. It's a Nickelodeon original movie. It was so dang fun to shoot. We shot it in Vancouver. Ooh, Sorry, cool. I'm like laying this. I'm like Do it. painting the picture. Do it. But it was, <laughs> it was so incredibly fun. We shot on a horse farm. So there were like lots of horses and it was just Vancouver and it was so pretty and it was so green and it was, okay. Now to the movie, not about the scenery. Sorry, it was really pretty. But the, the, movie, the movie itself, <laughs> the movie itself is uh, about two, well, one friend and then her, like, like cousin on the right arm, cousin, 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 like, very, still related, but, like, very far, like, comes and kind of spends Christmas with her, but I play Barkley. Barkley is crazy. I cannot wait for you guys to see. It's very, very different than my regular character. I just... I mean, I wear a fanny pack, so if that explains it, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm very crazy in this movie, but I we eventually accidentally get shrunk by an elf, <laughs> so we have to try to find these goggles that he shrunk us with before sundown, otherwise we will stay shrunk forever, so it's a very fun movie. It's kind of like Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, but it was, it was so dang fun to shoot, and I can't wait to see all the special effects put together because we shot the entire thing on a blue screen, like this. Right, Sorry. right. Did I just reveal this? No, no, no. Right. Okay. There's a green screen right behind yes. us, if you can't tell by the, yeah. the changing scenery and <laughs> giant dinosaurs just appear. Yeah. Whoa! <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> this is, I'm like so ADD right now. But, <laughs> but um,. It was, it's so cool because since we did shoot the entire thing on a blue screen, <clears> there were so many, the camera angles and everything had to be perfect because we had to literally look like we were tiny and we had huge props and there were cameras like up in the sky and like down low, like shooting us. It was so cool and I can't wait to see how they put it all together because like there's scenes that are really complicated and took a really long time to shoot and I can't wait to see how it turned out. Yeah, speaking of uh, like not knowing what it looks like at the end, well, I say, uh, while you're doing it <clears throat> for the final thing, yeah. on set of uh, NRDD, was it ever weird when you're when you're dropping like this huge punchline and there's like just dead silence? Like it was a massive joke. And I know, but see the thing <laughs> is, the thing is, it takes about 12 takes okay. to do a three page scene. 12! And so when the scene first starts and you're on take one and you pop this joke and everyone's just <laughs> dying laughing. Take two, you pop the joke, ha <laughs> still funny. Take three, you pop the joke, yeah, it was funny the first time. Mm -hmm. Scene four, uh. <laughs> I mean, take, take four and then take five, silence, take six. And it just, unless like you do a little twist on it that you didn't go before, <clears throat> you'll get a little huh. And that's about it. <laughs> yeah, but it's cool because, like, the first take in most often, they do not use the first take first. So there's a laugh track. I'm, I'm maybe giving a little secret, but we do have laugh tracks on the show. I think everyone knows. Yeah. <laughs> Some of the people may have died after they recorded it, so you're listening to dead people laugh. Like, on movies and stuff that have laugh tracks... But like watching them now, some of those people are dead. Dude, you're. What a if trip. they're all dead? You're what if they're ghosts? This girl's a trip to interview. I gotta tell you, you're awesome. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so I've challenged Lizzie to the Try Not to Laugh Challenge. 
She swears she's amazing and that she's going to beat me. I'm pretty good. And I've picked a topic which maybe isn't really fair to you. It's animals. Oh, gosh dang it. So, I don't know. The, the odds are stacked in my favor. Mm. But we'll see. All right, now. I'm going to give... Let's set some rules. Okay. Let's say... Um, you can smile. You can smile. Um, you can't go like... <laughs> right. You. Can, it's not a fail if you if you laugh to my reaction. You have to react to that. Okay. All right. Okay. So Got if, it. like if you if you snort or something and I laugh, I didn't flunk. Okay. okay I, gotta, I gotta fail to. So that. is it like points or whoever laughs? Let's let, let's go because I'm sure you're gonna laugh in about four seconds. Mm. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> let's go. Um, three points. Okay. Okay. And if you, every time you fail, I want you to say something as Ariana Grande. Oh, okay. I don't know what. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Do you like squeaky toys? Sing this one. Did he even burp? He said, I want nothing. Hello. Oh, I love ducks. I had a baby duck when I was a Lucky. I drank some water before she <laughs> Sorry, man, that's two. Oh, man, you are good at this. I'm gonna fast forward. I don't know where I'm going, but let's see. What? I have so many questions. <laughs> Look at all those chickens! You've seen this video, haven't you? I've seen a videos in here. Mm, unfair advantage. I love squirrels. Because I was being all fair. I was like, I'm not gonna watch yeah. it. And then the other cat grabs on, yeah. Ha! <sighs> <laughs> Oh my god, I thought I love this one. Let's go! Sit down, drink, stand up, drink, pass out, drink, wake up, drink. I agree now. Yeah! She has it on her. Oh, and I love this one. We used to do that all the time on set. We used to go, yeah! Back at it again. Crispy at Krispy Kreme, Kreme. Kreme. Kreme, and then he hits the sign down. Yeah, I've seen it. <laughs> Don't, Don't you, you yell, yell at your mother. mother. You, you think, think that's, that's funny? funny? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I love mine so much. Who's turning into the kids oh, back somehow? This. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. Oh this. my god. You see it? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah, well, you clearly won. Ah! <laughs> That's my favorite. And then he's like, I'm not even worried about it. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, the Ooh, get out the get way. Out the way. <laughs> All right. That's enough. I've... Oh, I love this one. Oh. Aw. <laughs> It was, she's like, she's like, I'm just kidding. That's my inhaler. All right, unfair advantage because she's got these memorized. <laughs> I, that's what I do for a living is memorize She's things. literally got every single thing, you know, so. But anyway, good job. <laughs> Thank you. You won. I don't get an Ariana Grande. Um, oh, you got to get Oh, one. why don't you say the shout out as Ariana Grande. Okay. So, what are you watching? Hi, everyone. It's Lizzie Green, and you're watching Teens Wanna Know. Bye. Amazing. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>
Hey, awesome. We're done.